Hello guys, and it's review time. Yes, yes, another review uh, coming your way. And um, this one is, well, this is actually a, pro a product by Media Later. It's called Media Toolkit, as you can see. Show the back. There we go. Uh, there's a surfing on there, which may give a little bit of reflection. Um, but it's um, key features of Media Vator, Media Media Aviator. Couldn't pronounce it. Media Vita, Blu ray Ripper, Media Vita, DVD Converter Pro. Um, so, a compatible PC and Apple Mac. Um, toolkit from binary distribution allows you to convert, edit, and transfer Blu ray. There's a little thing on there. Um, extract audio from DVD player, blah blah blah. Uh, DVDs to playback devices of your choice. So um, it can export in formats including the desktop, laptop. I don't know what the confusion between desktop and laptop is there, but hey, you know. Uh, tablet PCs, okay, we can give that one away. iPad, iPod, iPhone, mobile phones, and just about any mobile device compatible of video playback. Okay, so sort of thing that I might actually, you know, come in handy when I want to convert some of my DVDs to go on my old uh, Arcus. Uh, Marker 7 yeah Arca 7 <laughs> I'll try to think there for a second um, you know where you want to convert the uh, video to, to playback um, the DVDs to playback on that little device I'm just going to open up the cellophane very quickly so we can have a look what's inside the box Okay, just opening the box. So we have a sheet with the activation codes on the back. Please note Windows and Mac codes are provided. Okay, that's quite good then if you want to sort on the, on the Mac or the PC. And then you have your toolkits. So you know what, as a change, as this is Mac and PC, I think, actually just look at these, one's for Windows, one for Mac. I am going to use the Mac. Come on up with the product. Hey there guys, so um, first we have Medivator Blu-ray Ripper. Okay, now I don't have a Blu-ray, uh, certainly not Blu-ray drive plugged onto my Mac anyway and not onto my PC so I'll just run through the uh, the uh, application and uh, just point out some things um, now it gives you there very simple all you need to do is choose a profile which is down here add files which would be from your Blu-ray disc or and then you click the start conversion now you've got your little settings there your preferences so you can set up uh, bits and bobs, so that's your preferences. Here you've got your CPU usage. Down here you've got your profile, which is the format that you want to record to. So as you can see there, you can go through the more. You can convert it to iPod, iPhone, iPad, Android, Android Power, BlackBerry, PSP, Wii, PMP, blah 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 blah. So you see, you've got some general audio formats even web video and HD video so lots of different conversions you can do then is your destination drive so um, you can you can choose a different destination place and then um, click here to add files or you can it shows you where you add files sorry um, here is file name Video size, video quality, it's got normal or high, audio quality, and then whether you want to split it and at what point you want to split it. So 200 megabyte, 
a 702 megabyte for, for a normal CD, um, a 4.7 gigabyte for a normal DVD. After two hours, one hour, yeah, and you can have a custom size. So, you know, um, you can split the file up however you want to, and um, obviously make it nice and small or bigger or, or etc. Again, you've got some more settings here, so you can change the video codec, the bitstream, the uh, frame rate presets, etc. Audio stream, your picture, not like that, and your metadata. Okay, so just fill in a few things that you want associated with the video file, as you say, title, author, etc. etc. Um, you got your advanced profile settings there, as you can see. Close it down. And then here, I mean, obviously, um, add Blu-ray folder, and as you see, remove, clip, merge. These things only come, obviously, active when you've got a file in there. So anyway, yes, um, these obviously become active, and they have different things, you can pause, etc etc as you go along because the video ripper is exactly the same we'll take a look at those in the video ripper okay so here's the DVD converter again very similar to the previous one you have obviously your add folder and also for uh, ISO files there and then, you know same sort of thing choose a profile add a file start ripping same things down here, settings, CPU, as you can see I've got, this is a quad core, so there's four CPU, conversion is exactly the same, same settings and stuff down there. So you can see here that you can output to your PSP, iPod, etc. Um, and you can set a destination to output to, so let's just output the videos. So let me just go and quickly find uh, a DVD. Okay, so as all my DVDs are in the other room, I do have Speed, which is obviously quite an old one. It's a special edition one, so hopefully I'll pick the one with the movie on and not the other disc. And let's just eject the drive. Put it in. So. Choose the film. Disc information, we can see. We can have some details about the movie. As we can see here, the retrieved DVD information comes up. Um, no. Um, We've got it set to iPod at the moment. Right, so I'll select the file, and then obviously we can see now we can do some of these things. We can do a clip. We can merge it still, because obviously I've got a clip. We can do some effects. So um, we can crop, etc. We can walk, watermark it. Obviously, not massive effects, watermarking, um, you know, things like that to to make sure that if you do do a rip, then then you know, obviously it's something that is for you and you don't want anybody else to to take. We can add an output profile, and then we can see here that this is the thing that's selected, and that's it really. Um, again, same sort of things over here with your video quality normal, resolution normal. Um, your audio quality, you can split it again, very similar to, uh, as I said, the DVD, if it's quite you know, more or less identical, which is why I say these settings are still the same as well. Uh, but that's it, I mean, it's it seems like actually quite a good little program, I mean, if you're looking to uh, to, to take the um, any Blu-ray disc, if you've got a Blu-ray drive plugged in or DVDs, and encode them to... Um, Oh, you can include subtitles there, um, and encode them to say a hard drive, so that you, you know you might have one of these 
uh, media hard drives, or in fact, like my TV, you might be able to take a USB hard drive, so you might want to take all your DVDs, put them onto an external hard drive, so you can actually have it plugged into your TV and save you going around and keep finding the discs. Seems like a great program for doing something like that. Um, you know, and, and same as the Blu-ray repair, exactly the same. Seems like a great program for doing that. So guys, um, that is Mediavator DVD and Blu-ray Ripper converters. Hopefully, um, if you're looking for this type of program, it's, as I say, it does seem quite a good one. I like the, I mean, this obviously comes on Mac and PC, so you, you know, you, you're not kind of, um, um, it's not like, a, it's, it, so Mac users are not left out in the dark there if they're looking for this kind of a, a program. You don't have to worry about uh, it just being for PC because it's for both. And, um, you know, it, it seems to have a nice little interface and um, good little program. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And catch you on the next one.